all right guys welcome back to another killer video for today and today we'll be running some clown uh i mean most of you know i think clown's probably the weakest killer in the game right now and i just kind of wanted to make use of a perk that i don't see used too often that's gonna be make your choice so let's run over our build first hope we have pop goes a weasel so i don't you know so i can actually contest my generators infectious fright because it actually pairs really well with make your choice essentially whenever somebody gets unhooked with make your choice and becomes one shot for 60 seconds you can either go you can go for either of them assuming you can catch up to them quickly enough and whoever you down you'll hopefully be able to hear the other one scream excuse me from make your choice letting you know exactly where they are and you can decide to either go slug or go ahead and try and hook whoever you've down depending on who you down of course barbecue pairs really well with make your choice as well giving you something to do after you hook somebody so you know exactly where you should be going which will of course get you into the make your choice range and for add-ons we'll just be running double reload add-ons so i can reload pretty quickly so anyways guys let's get right into the video
Shelter Woods. Is it just me or does the clown look like he's fucking pulling a Glock on you or something? <laughs> it's I swear to god it looks like he's pointing a gun in the, with that fucking bug. Also, I just want to point out I love the bug. <laughs> it's funny. I see scratch marks heading over to the left over here. I see it's right over to the left? No, not yet. Oh, they're in the killer shack. Where are you? He must have had sprint burst or something, or maybe I'm just following two different sets of scratch marks. And I just assumed it was one. Yeah, clown. Don't hit him, I guess. He thought I was gonna respect him. Oh, that's right. Got me the hit there. Wow. I guess I chucked that fucking bottle out the fucking ass. Holy shit. I could have hit him there. I'm gonna be honest, I was fully expecting him to. This is why you swing through pallets if you're gonna be doing stuff like that, by the way. But, like, yeah, I kind of fucked myself out of a down. I still get it, obviously, but. That could have been annoying. I already see scratch marks leading to the pallet here. I have a feeling it can't be the pallet. <laughs> Dude, people are so fucking predictable. I'll go ahead and bomb the window early. That's exactly why. I want to pick this guy up before they do, though. I'm going to go ahead and pick him up now. I don't recall any flashlights, so I hope it'll be fine. Hopefully no sabotage plays coming in. But I'll go ahead and kick this generator with Puck of the Weasel and see where everyone else is. That person is doing a totem in the middle of fucking Timbuktu, so they don't matter. I don't need to worry about them yet. Someone's hiding around here waiting to get the unhook. I'll just go ahead and throw a bottle at him. Are you back here? No. These generators are actually really close together and I really want to defend them. Unfortunately, you no know, make your choice proc there. I'm not going to go for him. That's just being mean. Oh, I didn't kick this pallet, right? He's running the killer shack. I know the mech's to my right somewhere. Where are you? I'll throw a bottle there. Nice. That forces her into a much worse position, which means I can hit her. Donked her on the head a little bit with my bottle there. Dude, I wish they would at least give you extra points for donking people with bottles. Okay, she tried hiding in that corner, despite not having iron wheel. Strange. That generator got done really quickly. I think there's a couple people on it. I'm gonna hook her back here, literally just because I want the event hook for the points. Mm, these guys don't seem like they're messing around too much. I mean, might have to play a little bit sweatier for this game, unfortunately. Uh, what? I don't know how the first hit didn't hit him, but okay, yeah, game, sure. I'm gonna divert and come over to this direction. I knew she would be approaching from back here because I saw her working on generated things to barbecue. Fault the window. Thank you, he's gonna run straight for the unhook, right? Or not. <laughs> I see scratch marks leading to it back here, meaning it's probably the Adam. <laughs> I really didn't want to hit her because he might have had to, uh, bar time, but based on how she's playing, it doesn't seem like he does, so like, she might be able to get it down to her here, which would be really, really good for me. Either way, I'm going to wait till the last possible second to get the hit. It's definitely run out right now. I'm going to pick her up, actually. This might seem like a weird decision, but I only saw one person scream off infectious fright. If she has decisive, she has decisive. Oh, that's really bad for me, actually. I didn't realize somebody was already picking him up. In fact, I was hoping for the exact opposite. Hmm. So I've kind of put myself in a position where I have to go for this girl, otherwise I'm just screwing myself out of... Dude, come on! Like... <laughs> I can't fucking hit people! 
Now she's gonna drop a killer shack pallet and she's gonna loop this for a lot longer. Cause why wouldn't she? She ran right into me though, which is great. This thing should take a hit for her. That's very smart of you, thing. You can't body block this well enough though, except she can, so I'm gonna go ahead and destruction, try and cut the meg off at the window. Now there's two people trying to take hits for her. I have to make something work here. You're down on hook as well. Oh no, he's not because I didn't hook him right. Fuck you, dude. I'm still going for the Adam here because he's closer to dying than the Fang is. Yeah, I made a really big mistake there. I shouldn't have picked her up. I fucking knew I shouldn't have, but I went for it anyway. Just out of curiosity to see if I can make something work there. I'll bring him over back here just so I can kick his turn to pop goes away so it'll have more progress than I want it. Never mind. I still have a decent 3 gen area back here, and I have... Ooh, that generator has a lot of progress, doesn't it? This is the Meg. Meg, you're gonna die for this. If she doesn't have hard time, I go for him as well. He has it. Yep, his bar time applied. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wait for as long as I possibly can. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Then we get to down on him. We expected that to happen, it's alright. I'll go ahead and hook this mag. Definitely never decides to strike anymore, because, well, we already took it. It wasn't an awful spot to take a decisive, I'm gonna be honest. If that pickup happens right now, the Adam definitely has a break goal, because that would be way too quick for a pickup. She 100% trades here for him. Let's get your decisive out of the way as well, please. Ooh, nice. No decisive. Alright, we have to kill the Adam, which is really nice for me. I'll go ahead and come back here, see how much far this generator has. Not much, but it's the one that's further away from the other two, so I'm gonna go ahead and kick it anyway, so I can keep this one at zero. It'll be a lot less likely that I that I lose one of these two gens before that one, so. Uh, they ran away to get a full reset. It's a really smart decision on their part. Thankfully, these guys play a little bit too aggro, and like I said, they they seem confident for sure. They definitely know what they're doing. The Fang and Adam taking hits for the Meg when she was in a really bad spot is crucial for them to win this game. See the Fang running from the right to the left, so I'm expecting to see somebody, yep, back around this right side. So where are you actually? I had a feeling this was a Steve based on how he's been kind of avoiding me for as much as he, he can this game. I feel like I said that phrase really strangely, I'm going to be honest. And now he's just going to run to the killer. I hit no point. I'm not chasing back there. Doesn't matter. Fang's going to that generator for sure. It's not a generator I care about though. See, Meg's already back here. Is it Meg? I don't know actually. Is someone back here? <laughs> now I'm just doubting myself. <laughs> Meg knows about this generator, so unfortunately it's going to be a generator I will have to patrol a little bit more consistently than I want to. I saw somebody back here. I think it's the Meg. It seemed like they had a lighter top. Hello. <laughs> She likes trying that a lot, and it's only been working out because, well, auto aims fucking dog shit. Damn it, dude. Alright. That's fine. I am in more than good enough spot right now because now this girl's dead. I have two people. Uh, I have two people dead already, meaning that I'll be able to patrol the, this last generator really effectively. The only way both of them get out is with the key. Is he back on that other generator? That's a big question. I don't see him on it with barbecue. Oh, he didn't even get on this one. What the hell? Could have sworn this one it wasn't shooting sparks out. No one back here. I saw people off in this area. Yeah, I thought so. They're just going to make this since early over and over again because both these guys are going to try and play to live. Which is the right, it's the right decision to make on in their scenario. Or sorry, in their, um, in their position. But basically, uh, the, both these guys are just going to try and outrat each other, I think. Basically, what that means is they're just going to try and outlast and see just how damn long uh, they can stay 
not necessarily hidden, but just away from me so that they can deny hits for themselves and essentially just stay alive for long because really it comes down to whoever I find first dies. And thankfully this guy is injured. I'll throw a bottle over here. It doesn't really matter that he gets his son because... Or this blind because he's caught in the bottle. Oh, okay, well, I don't know what that was, but... Come on! <laughs> no, he makes his fucking pallet, dude! I'm really fucking annoyed! Come on, dude! I'll pretend I'm going over there. He'll fall back in a panic. Somehow, I missed. Fang's gonna be doing generator right now, playing for his adrenaline. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm really fucking annoyed about at least two of those hits. I know for sure should have been hits. Yeah, I missed a couple myself, but I mean, come on. Alright, well. I'll take this generator to the weasel. Fang, I just saw her moving over towards the right. That was a good fucking bottle throw, dude. Now she's gonna run back to Killer Shack as she knows I haven't kicked the pallet yet. I'll throw the bottle there and essentially just come over here so that I can try and force her into a worse position. <laughs> if she knows where Hatch is, this is where she just wins. If not, it just comes down to whoever finds it first. She's gonna vault the window. You should have vaulted the window. And normally I would have let somebody out in this kind of scenario, especially with how well these guys played. I definitely respect them a lot as players. What? What? I, I'm sorry, I'm just at a loss for words. If she finds Hatch, I'm actually going to be kind of upset, I'm not going to lie, because... What the fuck was that? <laughs> Alright, I got her cornered, this is where I'll go for a reload, throw a bottle on one side, head back to the other, she has to run through the bottle, meaning she'll get slowed down, vision will be blurry. I mean, you can't really play it like this, I'm going to let you know right now. God, dude, I... <laughs> I don't know what the fuck is happening with my hits, but they're very consistently missing. And yeah, I'm definitely like just uh, panicking and fucking swinging too much in some of these scenarios. But <laughs> come on, it doesn't help that they made every fucking map darker, dude. I'm sorry, I'm a little upset over how dark the maps are because I've had like fucking three games on maps that are dark as shit. Like, how, I look how dark this area is. You can barely fucking see. A Claudette just trying to spin you around in circles there, you lose her easily. Hell, it doesn't even have to be a fucking Claudette. Any survivor trying to spin you around there, you're gonna fucking lose them. I don't understand why they have to make every map darker. It's really annoying, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, it finally kind of gave <laughs> my devious has blood points. Nice. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video.